Mr. Ellis, you agree, do you not, that as a colored man, you could not fairly pass judgment on Mr. Spell? No, sir. You agree you could not be fair? No, what I mean is yes, if he's guilty, I'd have to convict him. I'll use a challenge. Object. I'm a business steward. Uh, Your Honor, I object. Grounds? He can't use the challenge to discredit. He can't use the challenge to discredit. I heard that, Mr. Marshall. It's a peremptory challenge, Mr. Friedman. The state may use it for whatever reason it wants. Mr. Willis, you have four left. The defense has one. I'm disappointed that every single time they discriminate, we're going to object. Recognize it now. Got an alarm coming in. Okay. University of Maryland Law School was walking distance from home. They didn't accept color, so I had to go to Howard. An hour and a half each way by bus and well known as a school for failures. That's too bad. No, no, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. They just brought in a new dean, Charles Hamilton Houston. Turned that place around, taught me everything I know, including how to sue the University of Maryland. You sued them? You bet your ass I did. As soon as I passed the bar. And? Supreme Court ordered the bastards to integrate. <clears throat> you argued in the United States Supreme Court? What? No, the Maryland Supreme Court. I didn't argue in front of the U.S. Supreme Court until last year. Mr. Spell. Thurgood Marshall with the NAACP. You heard of us. You a lawyer? I am. This is Sam Friedman. He's a lawyer, too. Hey, you can go. Got no money for lawyers. Anybody ask you for money? Did you rape that woman, Joseph? No. Why does she say you did? I don't know why she's saying that. She says you raped her and tried to kill her. She lied. I'm telling you this up front. The NAACP will not like most lawyers. We only represent innocent people, people accused because of their race. That's our mission. You understand? So I need to know this. Look at me now. Did you do what they said you did? I never touched that woman. OK, Joseph. You got lawyers now. I had dinner with friends, the Moors, and I arrived home around 10 o'clock. And then I decided to shower before bed. And I was fixing my hair. And he came in the room. He came after me and started chasing me. He had a knife. The knife was pointed at my throat, and I... I thought of screaming, but I couldn't. He, he penetrated me. I couldn't make him stop. His body was crushing me. What happened next, Mrs. Strubing? He said he wasn't finished with me. And then he did it again. Did what? Raped me, Mr. Willis. You gentlemen are making a big mistake. This here is Mr. Thurgood Marshall. The man is an attorney. You will treat him with the respect that he deserves. My great granddaddy, he was a slave. We're not slaves now, are we? We got weapons we didn't have before. We've got the law. Baby, you go into these towns, we've never seen a Negro lawyer. Hey, boy! You need to be careful. NAACP. Very good. You're going to Connecticut. Joseph Spell, Negro servant attacked socialite in her own bedroom. 
This case will show the world if a color man can get a fair trial in the United States. There's only 13 million Negroes depending on you. Don't any of you have any confidence in me? I'd say you have enough confidence for us all. I only represent innocent people, people accused because of their race. That's my mission. I never touched that woman. I need a partner who the jury can relate to. Sam Friedman. Good to meet you, Sam. Hey, give me a hand with these, would you? What have you got in here, cement? Guns. Books, Mr. Friedman. You just sweep through town, stirring up all kinds of ugliness. My life is on the line here. Hey, Attorney Friedman, hold on a minute. What do you want? You're one of us now, Sam. A real fighter. Step away, you can't take the heat on the battleground. Neither of them have been telling us the truth. He attacked me. I'd advise him to accept the deal. You lied in a sworn statement. Why would you do that? Why'd I lie? Because the truth gets me killed. You can't deny me now. Tunnel vision. If you want freedom, on a mission. you're gonna have to fight for it. Stop me now. The only way to get through a bigot's door was to break it down. You can't stop me now. So, what did you think of the video? Thumbs up or down? Well, stay with me as I have an interesting movie fact for you. Daniel Day-Lewis insisted upon growing his own facial hair for the role of Daniel Plainview in the movie There Will Be Blood threatening to quit the movie over the issue. Femi was uh, haltered for five days while he cultivated his facial hair. Now, if you haven't already done it, remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to always receive the latest trailers the moment they are online. Bye-bye.